Hello party people, it is Randy. Hello, are you guys ready to make a plan? Or are you ready for planning? The planning is what we're doing today for the Bargain Bead Box, August 2024. Peach Sorbet, I think I said Sherbert the first time. Sorbet, anyways, we're doing it, we're doing it. Let's jump down to the mat, get this party started. All right guys, here we are down on the mat. We're gonna make our plans today. Let's get this party started. I'm in the upstairs today. I just wanted to give a little reminder that we are, Thunder Horse Descendant is a working studio, so if you hear some commotion going on, don't be alarmed. That's just work happening and probably cats. All right, I have my Sharpie and I have my, this is new, I have a met, um, uh, metallic gold pen for things. I don't know, doing stuff today. So. This is going to be the plan video for the Bargain Bead Box um, Peach Sorbet. I think I called it Sherbert when I opened it. I'm I, Honestly, I'm not sure <laughs> which one it is. But anyway, here we are. So um, this is for August 2024 from Bargain Bead Box, and we are going to get started on our plans. I am super excited about this box, so let's jump into it. Let's see what we can do. If you've not been a part of the plan video before, basically what we're gonna do is some design on the fly type things. And then I'm gonna jump off the camera and write down my plans in the little book that I have so I can remember what they are. And then we will make each plan um, in a separate video for what we call the Bargain, Bargain Bead Box mini series. So you'll be able to create those designs if you'd like and uh, see the finished product uh, as the week goes on and as the videos come out on the YouTube channel. So let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna get some of these things out of here. Well, I don't have to do so I don't need that. I'm gonna get them ready to go. We're gonna start just messing with stuff until something but spectacular hits me. <laughs> I better get my cutter out. Okay, so we have some pendants. We have this little peach. This little peach is very cute. I like that a lot. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start with my favorite. If you saw the unboxing, these were my favorite. I'm gonna clear this so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. Just a little bit and I want to I love these I love these strawberry guys um okay I think what I want to do is I want to create a necklace with these guys do I want to use these pink as well Questions, questions. I think yes. Okay, you kittens. The kittens are here doing stuff. The kittens are here. That's cute. I like that. Let me just, for science, give this a whirl. I, I don't know if this is going to work, to be honest. But I guess we're about to find out. Apparently Bunsen and Winter are having a day, some sorts. So I have not ever done this before, so we're just gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna flat crimp this. Basically just squishing that. I'm gonna make sure that's and stay on there which it looks like this bring this up to the top let's give this a cut and fold this little clamshell over all right seems pretty sturdy so we got that going for us that's the first time I've ever done that. Seems seems good. 
Okay, so I think what I'll do here is I will put this in. I wonder if I put beads on this. Can I put beads on this? Can I put these beads on this? Yeah. Okay. Do I want to put these beads on this? Also good questions. You know, maybe I want to put these beads on it. I have all the questions. Let's take a look at this. Do you fit on here? Multiples of you, just in case. Oh yeah. All right, so here's what I propose we do. I propose that we make this a multi-strand necklace like so. Okay, on here, on this chain, I'm going to do a full length of probably beaded wire of this, of the strawberry cords, because I really like them. Then I will put the chain, I will use that to sprinkle in these uh, mother of pearl beads, shell beads. And I'm going to do that by, by crimping them into place, okay? So that'll be there. Then we will have this guy. And I think I will do... I don't know if I'm going to do a whole strand of these. Perhaps. Perhaps I will do a whole strand of these. It is questionable. And then I think I will have enough to go again because I'll just be spacing these out. And perhaps I'll put a few of these guys spaced in addition to the one full strand with this rhodonite. Um, and then on the top... So we'll basically have four strands there. Now four is a little questionable. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll only do three things and stuff. Okay, on the top, I wanna do leather. I'm probably gonna do a thicker leather. Maybe I might do a deer skin um, or I might double up on a round leather. Okay, and then that'll be up the top here. We will end that with one of these stainless steel lobster claws. Since we're going to use the gold, you know, maybe we'll use these. I don't know if I want to. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll use these little caps. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm going to reserve that for just the moment. Okay, so that is the first plan. I'm going to go ahead, pop off, draw it out for us so we know what we're doing. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here we are back with the plan. So I got um, marked out the leather and I have marked out all of the beads. We're gonna use the strawberry quartz down here on the bottom. Rhodonite with the chain here. The next one will be all strong rhodonite and then this one will be the Corina, Corina, Coriana, Coriana chain uh, with the shell beads. And we will just crimp, be, crimp those into place so it kind of looks like a floating necklace. And that is our first project, a multi-strand necklace. I think it's gonna be super cute. Now, I don't think that I'm going to end up using all of this chain on one. So right now, I'm just gonna cut it in half. Because I'm feeling kind of inspired by this, I think I might want to make another one because there was a lot of things I wanted to do, but I don't know if I can. So maybe I'll just make two. You never know. What am I trying to do? Not that. Let me just put these in this little bag. We'll probably have extra of these little shell beads, but that's fine. If we do, we might just move them into a new little location. Okay. So I'm just gonna put all these in here and this will be our project one. I 
Just needs some weather. All right, maybe better put that on here. Needs leather. Needs leather. All righty, that is that. Now, on to project two. So here is what we have left. <sighs> um, let me see if these are going to fit on there. questionable. Let me try a different one. Yeah. Well, since I can't get them to freely move, I don't think that I will do that. Okay, for this, I kind of have a couple ideas. I want to do hmm. <laughs> All right. So I got a couple of things I want to do, but I'm feeling like I might have to mix up the beads a little bit. I'm thinking in my head, which one of these projects that I am feeling like I want to do is going to be best for like the end catch-all project. And honestly, I think it's going to be the, the long necklace pendant. So I'm going to, I'm going to reserve this guy for that project. I'll make the other projects first so that it can make sense. So I have a bracelet idea and I have, mm, do I want to use these as a bracelet? Do I want to use these? These two look really good together. That's this peach moonstone. Okay, I have two bracelet ideas in my head right now. Let me cut this in half. And this is why I said I want to make both, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough beads. So I might need to either scrap one of the projects or rearrange it a little bit. So this one I know I want it to be part of the bracelet. And I'm kind of hoping that these... Could be the same size, which I think they are. Okay, so that's good. And so here's my idea for the first bracelet. I want to do two separate stretch bracelets. Hear me out, <laughs> getting upset. Once we get them together, I want to put this little peach moonstone as the pendant on here, but it looks kind of like blase with all this. So I think what I'll do is I will either, there's two options. We can either take the garnets, wrap them around both to create a bale, which in theory is a good idea, but not right now. Um, so I'll probably take a little strip of leather and create a bale that goes around both bracelets so that technically they can't be taken apart. And I will hang the pendant here along with probably one of these flowers and one of these leaves. 
to create like um, a little cluster of little flowery things here. This is gonna need something. I don't know. I can't. Uh, look, my brain's not wrapping on that right now. But we'll have to create that so it looks like a flower. So we'll have this little series of drops. Now I might take a little link. Maybe one of these guys. No. I think I'm just going to do it with the leather because that'll make it look super cute. But then technically these both of these bracelets will be stretchy. They don't have to be stretchy. You can make them on wire if you wanted to. Um, but I'm going to make them stretchy so they're easy to get on. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this up for us. This is going to be our project two. All right, guys, here we go. So this is what project number two is going to look like. With our peach moonstone pendant, our leaf, our flower, two separate stretch cord bracelets utilizing the moonstone and the mermaid glass. Project number two. I think it'll be cute. All right. So now next up to do another little bracelet I was kind of hoping these would fit on there we could probably do it with this one or we can make these into little really super easy earrings couple of things we could do there so <laughs> I have like four projects that are like ah there's not enough beads so <laughs> I'm gonna do one other bracelet that I think is cute and it's kind of a mixed bracelet like we did on morning coffee the other day and I just want to use um, some chain and I want to use some of these guys Just kind of mix them in. I don't know exactly what the little pattern will be here. This one. This one's kind of wonk, wonky wonk. So I think for this one. We will string these up on this chain just because we have it and so we'll string that up on here I don't know if this is gonna be the exact pattern or not I want to use all of the little bead caps here oh I forgot about these little bales come here you little bales So I'll probably cap the moonstone ones with um, with the with the caps, and then I'll put that on the chain, <clears throat> and then I will connect these guys utilizing these little links. Like that to make this a multi-strand bracelet bring that all together and 
and I put my little peach on there on the end. I'll probably have to have a link or something down here. Oh, he's already got a little bale. And we'll we're not gonna be able to use this guy because he's gonna be too small. <clears throat> I can maybe put a leaf. Oh, the leaf is kind of big. Maybe not to the leaf. Maybe no to that. We could just have the little peach there with one of these. Like that. And yeah, that'll be cute. Let me draw this up. Okay, here is project three. I forgot to draw the lobster claw glass, but we'll get a lobster claw glass for him. So this will be a double strand little bracelet utilizing these guys. Project three. So this one, we probably will not use all of this chain. We'll still have a little piece of chain left. So I'll go ahead and <clears throat> just put that. In there. Okay, and then for the last project, the project I was saying would be like the catch-all project, we will use all the rest of our beads. And I'm not going to cut those, but we'll be using all of these along with the strawberry quartz pendant and the leaves. We'll, put, we'll throw those in throughout. Now we do have some bales, which I mean, I guess we could utilize these. Well, maybe we want to make, maybe we'll save one out. We'll make a little pendant necklace or a bracelet or something. <clears throat> that'd be kind of, that'd be kind of a problem. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. But uh, what I want to do over here is I want to make this my little pendant. I'll have some hanging down droppy roos. Okay, probably all these little leaves. And what I want to do is I just want to utilize all of these beads to create a long necklace. Let's see, um, 18 times two is what? 36 inches? 18 times two, 36 inches. Yeah, okay, so 36 inches worth of beading. So what I wanna do is I kinda wanna, um, it's gonna be kind of a mishmash. I wanna do some chain, uh, let me see what I got. Maybe we'll use this guy. I've been wanting to use this on something. It's kind of a different color. Yeah. Okay, so if you know, you know. This, this guy here. Um, 
So I want to use some of that. And then I kind of want to create little wire wrapped pieces with these beads, different strips. Maybe I'll color block it. It's hard to say. I need to create 36 inches worth of beading. I want to connect this down here. Onto a, a larger loop, probably just a you know, just a, a loop of some sorts, a large ring or something, to hang all this on so that then you could either wear this necklace long or you could double it up and clip it onto the loop and then it would be a 18 inch necklace. So it has multiple options. So to do that, we would basically have to create a 36 inch necklace and I wanna splice in the chain, mix it with the beads. I don't want them to be the same. I want it to be all asymmetrical. I wanna put these on the bales and hang them throughout the doings and call that a day yeah that leaves us with a little piece of chain which we'll probably use some of these guys and the little crimpy beads and uh two stainless steel lobster claws and that's what we will have left so let me whip this up for you in the book All right, you guys, here we are, last project. This is project number four. So what I wanna do is have this connected on jump rings so that you could split this and then wear it over your head long, or you can put it to one side, go around your neck and clip onto the ring so that you can then, which again, I didn't draw the lobster clasp. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want the leaves to be coming off. I accidentally put these up a little high. I think I want the leaves to only be on the chain because that'll make them number one easier to connect and I think they won't lay as funny. So there we go. Well, this, that'll be our strawberry quartz convertible necklace. I think it's gonna be cute. With this chain, this chunky chain, I'm thinking, yeah. All right. So that is our four projects. Uh, so we have project one, the multi-strand with the leather. Project two, a multi-strand bracelet. Apparently I'm in a multi-strand mood. Are you guys feeling that? Um, then we have multi-strand bracelet again, different one. And technically not a multi-strand, but kind of. Could be worn as a multi-strand. This is the box of multi-strands, I guess this month the august let me put these in here before i forget what i'm doing i really like that peach with that green that little pop of green that really i really like that a lot so uh i might do some stringing on that i might do some chain some wire wrap i don't know exactly we'll see how i feel that day when i get there <clears throat> but i got the design down and that's important. And we'll put that in there. So there we go. And then what we have left, so these are the four projects that we're going to make. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then what we have left is just these guys, which I'm sure I have more of this chain running around the house. So I'll be able to utilize the rest of these findings for, you know, to crimp it together and things of that nature. So there we go. Got that going for us. And there you go. That is your peach sorbet. Is that how we're going? Peach sorbet collection. Uh, the total value on this, I forgot to say during the unboxing, the approximate total retail value of this shipment was $84.81, just in case you were wondering. And there we go. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you are enjoying these videos. If you are, please don't forget to subscribe. Do a like, make a comment, do all the youtube -y things. Those things are very important for the channel and uh, helps me to continue to bring you these, these types of videos uh, and lets me know that you like these types of videos. So there you go. I hope you're having a lovely, spectacular, amazing beating day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.